What's up guys? Welcome to another YouTube video and in the spirit of prismatic shard We've been grinding trying to make sure that it works on the defects because as it comes as we've come to find out Prismatic shard and defect are probably the worst synergy out of all the classes because orbs don't really go well if you're not getting orb cards and then Defects relics don't really go well with other classes Regardless we finally got a run and it's not just the run that was a good prismatic run for defects probably the best run I've ever had Ever. I mean, it's just ridiculous. So you're definitely going to want to see this. Drop a like if you guys enjoy it. Things get pretty crazy. Peace. Let's give it, let's give it another chance. Get a rare relic times two. Let's give it another shake at it. That was my fault that time. Prismatic, I like it. I like it, I like it. Okay. How many leads are we doing here though? The fact that this is a four shop is pretty bad. I, I, I stick the best path, but the fact that it's a four shop is a little bit worrisome. Oh, I have an idea. If we take all these hallway fights, we're going to lose <laughs> so much life, though. Look how much life we're going to lose if we take these hallway fights. Like, this path is really good. I like the two late elites. In fact, I even like this path right here. The fact that it's a four shop is pretty bad, though. Mm. So many hallway fights. Could be a, a good thing or a bad thing. I'm leaning towards a bad thing. I should slow down a little bit though, because that book stabbing fight we could have done a lot better, and we'd be enjoying that last run, which was a really cool start. Okay, wreath versus rampage early. Even fusion is interesting. If I can, get, I mean, fusion is a, a really good energy card, but it's a little bit bad early, and I need an upgrade. Hmm. I'm also like a pretty big fan of wreath in general, but I think rampage is probably just the better card right now. Upgrade. I, maybe I shouldn't do transform. I don't know. If I upgrade Zap, I make it a little bit better. But upgrading Zap feels kind of lackluster for sure. Maybe transform was just a little bit better. But we're gonna save a lot of life with this um, thread needle, so that should allow us to go for a lot of these. So empty body is pretty good. I think it's a good block card, and the fact that it exits your stances can lead to me picking up some interesting cards, such as. Wrath forms and columns and stuff. So I'm really excited about that empty body. Empty body is a good speculative card that even if it doesn't like necessarily pay off, it's still a decent block card early. Okay, so tactician. I love these energies. I love getting these speculative energy stuff early. There's a lot of dis like if you accumulate all the cards in the spire, there's a decent amount of discard. Actually, it's mainly just the silent that has most of the discard in the game. But the fact that you can solve energy... Um, I mean, backflip is probably better. If I'm being real. And backflip can lead into wrath calm stuff with the empty, uh, empty body. No, but the tactician is... It's just too speculative because there's not that much discard stuff that can actually get out of this. Uh, how much damage are we doing here? We have 12, 20, 20, 26. 26, okay. That's decent. Kind of want to do Rampage, but I also want a full block. Rampage is not going anywhere. My life is going somewhere, so... Yeah. Ooh! This is a pretty decent attack. As far as attack is concerned. This also makes backflip a little bit better. Because if you have card draw... Oh, this is this is also a decent card draw. I think Impatience is a very good card. If I didn't have so many strikes to begin with. But Impatience, I think... 
On average, does it hit anything? I don't know. I think follow-up's pretty decent attack, though. Alright, we're strong enough to do an elite. Right? Do we do a power pop for this guy, or should I save it for the next guy? Let's do power for this guy. Ooh, creative eye versus Electro. What's better, guys? Electro probably does more damage right now, right? What about Loop? Loop does an extra 3 damage for the next 3 turns. So, it's an extra 9 damage. Where Electro does more damage already. I'm gonna save my, my Buster in the Forge for... Another fight. Another day. I kinda wanna draw to see if I hit Rampage. Nice. That's really good. Because now that means I can draw into Rampage on the redraw here. And I did. Wow. Beautiful fight. Only thought for got sustain all of a sudden. Got a potion, so it was a good potion usage. Echo form. Oh boy. Now, third, you know what makes me play echo form a little bit easier. These are great positions. This is an amazing floor. A premium, premium, premium uh, rare. Like like the best rare on the defect. And then we have uh, premium blocks. I mean, but Echo Form Rampage is, is... Now, if I go against Lagavulin, now I can just get Echo Form out. That's, I lost 2 HP for this, but now I have Echo Form out. So let's see if it pays off. Man. So two, two damage, if, if two damage is all I take, I'm, I'm pretty happy here. Wow, I have form Rampage is, oof. Okay, this is a pretty decent block card. It also goes pretty well backflip, so it brings our block to to a nice, but this is a really good damage card. I'm gonna take the, the, the block card. We can probably do another Elite now. If, it, if it's Lagavulin, we get Echo Form out. If it's not Lagavulin, well, Is this a good use of Blessing of the Forge? What's a better Blessing of the Forge? Now I gotta debate whether or not I even play Echo Form. Echo Form is gonna be for Lag of Volden, but. Okay. A little bit awkward. Echo Form is probably better than Rampage here, if I'm being honest. Alright. Because we're going to have negative draw, it makes the cards that we do draw more impactful. Case in point. Oh my god, look at the follow-up synergy. That's sick. Follow, follow up Echo Form. Wow, look at Echo Form and Rampage. Ori Calcum. Oh my god, we have 10 blocks of doing nothing. Yes, yeah, so I've already talked about this. Defect is the worst character in terms of synergies for the Prismatic. The orbs don't make sense in a, in a, in a class synergy uh, sense. And the class specific relics that are a lot of orb based stuff are really bad with Prismatic Shards. So Defect's. Not only the worst class, but also the worst for Prismatic, which is why we're having the most trouble. We've actually beat Prismatic first try of every other class. Defect's been giving us some trouble, and of course, some of that is my fault. Like that last run was probably winnable, but yeah, yeah we have we've already discussed how bad it is, just by the nature of everything. Whereas Ironclad is amazing. Um, I could take Armaments. Armaments might be useful later on. I'm a fan of Armaments. It's pretty bad for Orc Alchemist stuff, but I think it. Oh my God, we are. Now we can just dig for Echo Form. So now, now do the math. Now do the math. What is my chance to get Echo Form turn one if I do Gambling Chip? That's pretty freaking high. Oh, Armaments are pretty bad though with Echo Form. I, I, I've come to realize. I'm trying to get Echo Form out. Damn it. That's pretty bad. I 
want to take Echo Form out, but... Okay, it wasn't too bad of a fight. Ooh! So Darkness is pretty good. Like, this is a pr just, it's, it's a good orb. Like, probably one of the better orbs. But are we are we past it? I, Darkness is particularly good against um, Slime Boss as well. I'll take it. I think it's pretty decent. If I'm going to have an orb, I'll take the Darkness. Super Meep is very good. Much better than the Strike. Oh, turn my best attacks here. Hey man, it's not my. F oh my god. I'm gonna keep the curse in the deck just because I think getting egg form is just so impactful. Okay, this is awkward. Should I draw into egg form or not? Oh, that was potentially really, really dangerous. I, was really I should upgrade egg form because I've been so careless with my backflip. Nice. So that by evoking, I, I get less damage overall in the fight, but I... Dude, we have full block anyways. I don't even have to do good instincts. Oh my god, this deck... This is a fantastic run. Holy shit, full block. Did I do four elites? I did four elites. Let me just double check. I did one, two, three, four elites. Tons of hallway fights. Oh boy. Captain's Wheel is fantastic. Exhum is one of the best cards I can ever ask for in a Prismatic deck. It doesn't make sense now, but the synergy of Exhum later on is absolutely stupid. Like, I love it. I even want to make maybe Exhum upgraded just because... Later on, an upgraded Exhum is going to be really useful. Yeah, Oricalcum is fantastic Act 1. So is Third and Needle, and we're, we're in Act 1, so. Now we don't need to... Uh, yeah, exactly, we can just upgrade Exhum. So now even if we mess up with the, the thing... The Exhum upgrade doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but... It will. Getting Dark Orb out is really nice. Getting Dark Orb, so I want Dark Orb to be on like the... What's it called? Oh my god, we got Captain's go perfectly too. I might not even take that much damage here. I, I'm, I'm okay to get Echo from out here. Because of this, this beautiful amount of block that I have. It's a pretty decent dual cast. But I could probably get a better split, right? decent um I could probably just do lightning and strike right pretty decent Double Rampage is really good though. Hmm. I'm probably pushing it a little bit. Probably pushing it just a little bit. Alright, beautiful fight. The Dark Orb didn't really get to get time in the sun, unfortunately. Like, we wanted the Dark Orb to get time in the sun, but that's the problem when you don't have a lot of orbs. So, oh my god, Omniscience, I can dig for this, and now Omniscience Echo Form is disgusting. What? 
I'm kind of interested in Pandora's box because we don't actually need our block cards. We have um, Orichalcum Thornito. I'm, I'm kind of just want to toss him, but we're going to get a lot of defect cards. Where I could do Sozu, which makes Ornithopter worse. And I could also do Sacred Bark, which makes my potions better. I mean, okay. Oh my god. So now we can find another Echo Form. We have two. Ch Chills are probably the best cards I can get because they're zero cost. And they give me Frost. Frost goes really well with Threading Needle or Calcum. As a matter of fact, Frost is amazing because now I um I just have so much passive block. Hologram is a fantastic card. Doom and Gloom is great because it's another Dark Orb. And it's AoE. I mean, that was probably the best Pandora's I could have asked for. I mean, obviously, there's better Pandora's. We got Multicast even. Multicast is great. Remember I was having trouble getting rid of that Dark Orb? Now, all of a sudden, I have Multicast on that Dark Orb. Lord have mercy. I could do every Elite in the game, so let's find every Elite. Let's find every Elite. I promise I want to get a, a little bit of a later shop, but... I'm going to do every single Elite here. Let's go. I'm going to get overzealous because... So, um, this needs to be upgraded ASAP. But look at this. Like, much, like, Exhumed Chill is actually fantastic. Like, if I had Calipers here, I have so much block. I, I mean, I get so much block out of this. Look, I could do this. And this is actually relevant. Like, this, this is a relevant amount of block. Look at that. Look at that ability to block there. And get Echo from out at the same time. And we have so much passive block of captains. Oh my god, our block game is fantastic. So close. Oh my god, wait. Oh my god, look at our, look 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 how beautiful this churn is. Oh my god. Guys, this is a freaking magnum opus right now. The arm is giving lethal because the multicast plus one plus the dual cast negative energy. This is my magnum opus and this... Oh my god. So this removed the bad stuff. Oh my god, this gives us card draw. Pretty relevant still. We have dark orbs, we have frost orbs, we have lightning orbs. That's great, I love card draw. What, what is pretty bad right now? That is pretty clean. That is pretty clean. I think the two shows is actually pretty good. I don't even know what to remove. I guess dual cast, we, we saw dual cast's potential when we have dark up stuff, but multicast is probably a better dual cast. I don't even see anything to remove necessarily. I'll probably buy a potion. Empty body? Empty body still has a chance to pop off. Because empty body, we can end up doing wrath stance, calm stance, and now it could be energy, right? You notice we're low on energy. So imagine I get a calm stance. Now all of a sudden, now I have calm in my deck with empty body, and now we're getting, we're solving energy. So I, I don't want to get rid of empty body just yet. Right? I, I can do Wrath, but I also do Calm. Calm solves, solves energy, and there's some good Calm cards that I might get offered. And I think Empty Body is a solid block card. It's a solid block card that has potential to give us energy, which is fantastic. Um, I don't see what else to remove. A lackluster shop, unfortunately. Oh my god. I'm just gonna keep this turn. This turn's fantastic. I'm taking some damage, sure, but, you know, seven damage in a fight, and then the fight's solved. You can't complain at all, can you? I can't complain at all. Now we have energy next turn. Alright, full block. Oh, not only do I have full block, I gain energy by playing that. And then I have even more cards to play, but it's like... Yeah, I don't even know. I mean, I don't even want to play multicast. I can probably just dig out some cards and look for zap or something. Or chill. Now I have so much passive block. Now I draw only to premium gas. 
I mean, I have so much passive block, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna just steamroll and expire. I should probably use a potion because there's a 50% chance I'm gonna get a potion. I'm gonna lose healing if I don't. So, what potion do we not care about? I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that 50% is not good enough. I, okay, I'm gonna feel bad if I lose 5 HP, right? Do you guys feel I'm gonna get a potion here? There's a chance. There's a chance. 50% chance is just, just at the, the, the cost. And we got a potion. Man, I felt it. Felt it in my loins. Okay, so... Reinforced Body is a pretty decent block card. Because you can play it twice with Echo Form and block the rest of your life. But we don't actually... I think our block game is actually pretty decent. So I'm not going to bite. Worship, though, on the other hand... You just retain it. And we have Echo Form. So what does Worship mean? With Echo Form, I have Divinity Stance for one. It's not even, it's not even hilarious. It's, it's viable. I have Echo Form. So Worship by itself, it already gives me Divinity. Okay, now we have Necronomicon. So now i got to decide whether or not I'm actually okay to do this next five of three leads. I can check out another shop. Okay, now... Mm, this is like last five, but harder. I like follow-up a lot, but I'm going to look for chill here. We found chill. Look at that, we found chill. Kinda wanna use a potion here just so I don't Like what what potion could I get that would save me life here? Meteor strike? Meteor strike, what else? What else what else could save my life? Save for next turn divinity? What oh, oh, cold snap? Cold snap, okay. Cold Snap could save our li uh, save some damage. Yeah, save two life. <laughs> okay, what else? Cold Snap and Meteor Strike? Meteor Strike doesn't even save that much, unfortunately. With Meteor Strike, I can kill the guy in the back. I get vulnerable, but then I get... Yeah, it's not that good. It's okay. Well, no, Meteor Strike actually does Necronomicon. Oh, but it doesn't cost two. It doesn't cost two. So close up, save. What else can save? Go for the eyes. Can save life. I like how I chose Necronomicon, but it's not actually Necronomicon. I think saving life is important because I think we're we're pretty well versed for the elite. So we have worship, right? And then we can do omniscience on Echo Form. Oh, we already lost the Echo Form. Okay. Let's do the worship. Now this is doing 60 damage, which is pretty decent, right? 60 damage plus if I do darkness zap, I end up doing 60, 68 plus lethal. Wait, no. So 60, 68. Darkness is another 6. So... 74, 74 plus another 6 is 80, 80 plus 3. It's not lethal. Is omniscience better? Yeah, look, look how cool this divinity defect. Look at this, this little defect is glowing. I gotta save more life in this fight, to be honest. Can I exhum anything that, that gives me life here? Alright. We gotta survive this next elite, and then we're fine. We have the hands great. It is weakened. I, I, I think that works pretty well for us. Alright. It's probably one of the harder fight for us. One of the harder fights for us. I, def I definitely want to get um, 
I want to dig for Echo Form, right? We have two Echo Forms in the deck, so should be reason to believe that we should be able to find it, yeah? Should I even do a scope out now to kind of dig for Echo Form? Echo Form is so important. Nah. Okay, so we got Wave of the Hand. So we weakened it for a long time. Wave of the Hand with Frost is actually quite good. This might be a decent scope pot as well. I could even seek. It's interesting. I could seek out the worship so that I, I, I don't have to draw into it. And then it makes me get closer into Echo Form. So right now we have nearly full block. We have nearly full block here. I can even do Fission. Fission is so bad when it's unupgraded. I can even do good instincts too. I don't draw into good instincts as well. That's not that good. Okay. I, I only take two damage here. I could I could take. I'll do this. He's, look how much weakened that is. Weave of the hand with the frost herbs is sick. And now we have echo echo. Echo Echo would be sick if I could play like Worship with it, right? But wait, I, I could do Exhumed Chill twice, right? So if I do Exhumed Chill, chill twice, I, I gain some decent block out of this. So if I do Echo Echo, then Exhumed, Chill Chill, Chill Chill. Look at this. Look how much block I'm getting out. It chill is actually an insane card. Look how much value I'm getting out of Chill here. Look at this. Look at that. You thought I had no energy, but I, I blocked for 24. I could do on missions here. Missions twice is actually sick, isn't it? Look at this. Look at this. Oh my lord, I'm in love. So now Tranquility gives me a chance to get energy. If I enter Calm, Empty Body can give me some energy sometimes. Also Tranquility can give me energy if I enter Worship, which I do have Worship. So Tranquility, it, it makes Empty Body better, it makes Worship better sometimes. It also makes Armaments better. If I Armaments this, I can actually get Calm Source. Sunder is really good with the fact that I have Necronomicon though, All right? It also Exhum stuff, yeah, so now Exhum can bring back Calm again, and I can empty body again, I can keep getting energy stuff, so I'm solving energy very nicely. But Sunder with Necronomicon is kind of stupidly good. I mean, look at this, Necronomicon, Sunder, if I upgrade Sunder, we have a bag of marbles. Who's the boss? The champ? I mean, Divinity Sunder is a thing, but Marble Sunder with Necronomicon is kind of silly. Yes, I can solve energy with the calm and the zoom and the empty body, and there's all these little cool little intri intricate things we can do. We can also just sunder things to death. Like, that's 64 damage. And if, if I get sunder now. It's it's a wrap. Look, Sunder already kills here. And finally, we had turns like this where we take damage, right? Oh, if we had a way to get energy here. 
with Exhum, Sunder just kills here. So, what would be a good way to get energy here? I can't. Exhum can't do anything. It's just unfortunate. We just end up taking damage, unfortunately. Um, so we, we gotta find ways to like prevent these damage things that I, that happened to me. And once I can, once I get some sustain and find ways to prevent this damage that's happening to me, ceramic fish is pretty bad, right? A part of me wants to rest. I think we can survive these next two leads for just resting. Yeah, we do need energy. If we get energy, we're, we're in great shape. But uh, there's actually kind of a small chance that maybe I should just avoid this elite. I am low on life. I don't know. What's a better upgrade? I think I think we actually upgrade omniscience. I think omniscience... If I can play... So if, if I upgrade omniscience last, last fight, I had echo form turn one. I had echo form turn one. I, there's so many times where I... Omniscience is another out to get echo form turn one. Or even like worship turn one. That omniscience was really, really, really good. I would have actually taken no damage last fight. Not to mention, I also would have been able to exhume it as well. I think pressure points, yeah, you're talking about the energy options, but we already have ways to do damage, and I think pressure points is pretty low impact. Compared, like, Rampage is probably better, considering that Divinity is a thing, and I don't know, pressure points doesn't seem that great in the concept of what the deck's doing. The problem is, if I upgrade omniscience, I'm going to the sparkle with 21 life. But I'm telling you, omniscience would have saved me. I probably should upgrade it. I, why didn't I upgrade omniscience before? What did I upgrade instead? Sunder? Okay, that was silly. I, I got punished for upgrading Sunder, guys. I got punished bad. If I upgrade omniscience, I'd take no damage that last fight, and we should, we're just rolling. I'm just rolling. I just got punished for not upgrading Sunder. So that's another mistake I made. I mean, for, I mean, for upgrading Sunder, I got punished. Of course, it's hindsight because that, that was the snake plant. If it was another fight, Sunder probably would have been better. But with the snake plant, I got punished. I think Omniscience is still a better upgrade just because it's another uh, seek for Echo Form. Yeah, I would have saved so much life. Okay, but it's a little bit risky, you're saying, to, to have this much life. Hmm. If you want to risk it less, we can probably go to like here and get some potion chance. It should be like a little bit less of a risk. Let's see if we find Sunder. If we find Sunder, then this is great. Could have done chill first, that's my bad. Judgment. Whoo! What do you think about body slam? Is body slam ever good here? Do damage equals your block. We do make blocks sometimes, but I don't know. It feels like not that great. Yeah, I mean, I think we up in hindsight the mistake seemed more. So I think Sunder was a still a decent upgrade in certain fights, but omniscience it becomes playable when you upgrade it. Omniscience is probably always the best upgrade. Yeah. So here we can do like omniscient sunder, right? Omniscient sunder, then play echo form. Pretty decent, no? Isn't that pretty decent? Oh, what if I drew into sunder? That would have been really bad. Also, I could have done yeah. I think I'm just in Sunder is pretty decent here. That's awkward. Hmm. I wonder if I just kill this guy and just 1v1.
Oh, I could have exhumed Sunder again. I could have exhumed Sunder again. I'm so stupid. I had exhumed Sunder again. So silly of me. So silly of me, guys. So silly of me. I would like to get a potion. I want to get a potion real bad so that I could, um, Look for Sunder again. There's the Sunder again. We even got Omniscience. So close to lethal on the Chosen. Like, it's so much damage I almost want to use it. Wait, what if I do Omniscience on Worship? Now I can do Exhume Omniscience again. And play double Echo Form. This is disgusting. And look how valuable Exhume is. Look how valuable Exhume is. Exhum I should have upgraded Omniscience like 20 years ago, but it doesn't matter. I mean, at this point, we're just... Okay, this is great healing. I'll take it. I love that. I love that. Waffle? Alright, it, it begs the question that we might see Mind Bloom in um, Act 2, Act 3. I'm okay with taking Omamori here. Exhume Omniscience, yeah, it's silly, silly, silly. Um, also, I think another Hologram's not bad. I think Omamori doesn't always... Like, it, it's, it's probably sometimes doing nothing, but... If we focus on events in Act 2, it might get some value. Capacitor doesn't do anything for us. Now, is there any removal targets? Are we? Do we want to rem remove... Uh, Shipping Beam at this point? I can take Secret Weapon. So now we have Secret Weapon for Sunder, right? So now we have ability to get Sunder. We have the ability to get Omniscience. We have the ability to get two Echo Forms. I mean, we've, we, this is all about seeking things. We have Gambling Chip to dig. Two Echo Forms to look for. Omniscience, we have... Yeah, Secret Weapon is not bad for Sunder. I, I, it's, it's actually a, a decent consideration. It's not good for the boss fight, but for hallway fights, it might be decent. Because Sunder is, an, especially on turn 1, it's 96 damage. You think Darkness sucks now? Darkness is getting worse now that we have Necronomicon stuff, but the Doom and Gloom plus the Darkness... I mean, maybe... This, if I were to remove this Darkness altogether from my deck, does my deck get better? Well, it's still a multicast shenanigans. And Darkness is pretty good against, good against the, the champ here. We can just kind of stall for the champ, but... We can, obviously, our deck's so strong, we can do anything. We can stall. We can do Echo Form attacks and just beat this, but... Um, is it worth wasting money on Omomori, or... Because, like, like so we're probably going to dig for events in Act 2, right? So, there's going to be... There's a lot of events in Act 2 that give you curses. I also might get Curse Key. I'll buy the Omomori. And, um... I don't know, I think Shipping Beam has gotten a lot worse. Shipping Beam does draw cards with Echo Form. But Shipping Beam has gotten a lot worse. I could have saved money for Act 3 as well. I could save money for Act 3. This might just not be a removal of the game, personally. How's our block game, though? Our block game is a little weak, is it not? Our block, our block game is a little weak. So this is why we're so low on life, because our we have crazy things to do with Echo Form, and we have decent damage potential, and we have like darkness multicast, but our block game is very weak. Unfortunately, Antibody is still useless, but it's one of my only block cards. So it's 14 block of Echo Form. You gotta treat that I'm probably gonna have Echo Form all the time. So 14 block of Empty Body is pretty decent. Yeah, I don't have control over the path because I, I end up not, not doing... Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. Our blocking is weak, so what can we do to make our blocking better? Does Hologram make our blocking better because we can... I think Hologram is pretty decent. And we definitely don't um, rest here, right? 
Definitely no rest. So what would be a good upgrade here? Maybe make hologram better so that I can actually hologram my block cards that I that I have in the deck and do stuff with it. What's a better upgrade? I like hologram upgrade here. I don't need to remove anything. I mean, I should probably keep these block cards, right? And just block this turn. Mm, Dimiclip is not good, not bad to get some, um... So we'll take one damage here. Do we want to take one damage or do we want this full block? I don't need to do Doom and Gloom. I can even let Echo Form go down just because I have Exhum. You know what's even better though is Echo Form Omniscience now. Now we just do Echo Form Omniscience. And if we draw into Omniscience, it's just going to be ridiculous. Oh my god. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. You didn't have to do that. I was just kidding. So if Omniscient is back in the deck, which is great. I could Sunder and start getting his life total down. I could also Rampage, start scaling Rampage. Like, why not scale Rampage, right? I forgot to do Armaments first, though. My bad. Also, I might as well just do Worship at that point. Mm. I might as well armaments as well. I could just let dark scale. Just let dark scale. And then, then we just like do multicast shenanigans. Yeah, this, this vantage up is fantastic. I was weakening him for a long time. Always weaken for a decent amount of long time. Like six weekends, pretty good as permanent weekend. And now we just wait for multicast, right? And now we can do worship multicast shenanigans. It's pretty good. So what we could do is kind of make him um, like butter him up, butter him up for multicast. How does the missions work on multicast? We're gonna find out right now. Take your T peaks. Darkness is not even necessary. <laughs> oh my god, another omniscience. Oh my god, say it ain't so. This is about to get stupid. Alright, so I think we can Runic Dome, because I don't think we're going to care at all about the intentions in this run. As long as we are aware that we need to block for... I don't know, let's say... We need to block for 60 on average at the first two turns of the heart. It definitely would help to know if I'm getting attacked... In, okay, actually, running Pyramid is also really stupid as well. I mean, I could I could keep intention to take Philosopher's Stone as well. I could take Philosopher's Stone as well, but our block game is pretty weak, so I don't want to take Philosopher's Stone necessarily. However, Runic Dome, I don't think we care about intention necessarily either. But also, hi, YouTube. It took a while to get Defect to actually pop off with Prismatic, but here it is. And who would have thunk it would have been a gambling chip echo form? Omniscience. Omniscience run. I mean, this is going to get really degenerate. And this Exhum is going to be Superstar as well. It's already been a Superstar. Yeah, Pyramid would have been great if I had energy, yeah. But if I had energy in the deck, yeah, Pyramid would be fantastic. Oh, unfortunately, do we want to make the enemy stronger but see the intentions? Or do we just not care about intentions? Exactly, Cyber Church. It's crazy. It's like... Exponential card playing. I 
I, I feel like this deck is pretty controlled. I think maybe it's, it's flush. I think it is flush for some, perhaps, actually, because this deck is sort of controlled in the amount of things that it's doing. Look for Mind Bloom. We have three events. Oh my god, we have omniscience. Can bandage up twice. I'm scared to hit the uh I could also do NTC top stuff there. We have we can get full heals with this bandage up. That was like one of the best things we could have asked for. Upper card was good weak and um, vulnerable as well. Look for colorless cards here. So let's see what we want. Do we like purity or impatience? How often do we not have attacks? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six attacks in the deck. Impatience is pretty decent, right? As a card draw. Do we want two of them though? Do we need trip though? Trip gives us uh, vulnerable, and vulnerable gets rid of artifacts as well. But we have multicast darkness that can do stuff, and then we have like we don't need trip. I mean, two impatience is. Mm, isn't it kind of funny? Wait, so if this you have no attacks in your hand, and then you have impatience echo form. Does it apply double impatience immediately? What if you draw an attack on the first impatience? Does it stop drawing on the second one? How does that work? How does Echoform Impatience work? I'm, I'm assuming it just draws four cards, but maybe on the second, if it draws an attack, it doesn't work. It stops? Ah. That makes it worse. You guys think trip for the, AO, uh, for the vulnerable? The vulnerable will make significant damage for sure. At the same time, we don't need the vulnerable. We're also doing darkness stuff. So impatience is pretty bad with echo, uh, with echo form, unless I know for a fact I'm not drawing attacks. Yeah, vulnerable could do a lot of damage, but I think our damage profile is pretty fine, right? Aren't we doing damage or dark darkness? We should embrace the fact that we're doing damage or darkness. All right. So what's better, max HP? draw so finding emissions is like really good here because what goes really well with emissions right now um sunder so i think we should look for omniscience in my opinion hmm. also echo from so we, we can heal up so yeah we can take damage here yeah we take some damage here but like we could have done weakening and all that stuff and back to maybe take more damage however we have bandage up so we should be fine Oh my god, we have double omniscience. Oh my lord. I should have done Doom Gloom first. That was my bad. I should have done Doom Gloom first. But this works. This works just fine.
Let's try to bandage up here. So we can bandage up and then we can look for um, exhume for bandage up again. That's the dream. Because you want to get full life, right? So let's exhume bandage up again. Full life. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Oh, boy. Acrobatics is great. Oh, we got... Look, the curse is paying off. Now we're going to have a lot of money at the shop. So one more. It was a great purchase so far. Sort of uh, vindicated. I can also do Hologram Sunder here and just kill everything, no? Sunder only does 40 damage. I might as well use a flex spot, though, and just win this fight. I don't need flex, but otherwise. Does it waste an economic? Does it waste an economic card charge if it kills immediately? I don't want to test it. Don't want to test it. Let's find on missions now. Oh my god! I was just trolling, but. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This would have been, just FYI, 192 damage. Okay, do we even need fuel pain at this point? It doesn't even do that much for us. Like, fuel pain would have been kind of cool with Blade Dance, but no. Yeah, this is actually just a skip. Fuel pain, we don't have, like, what, what does the exhaust do for us? I mean, here's the thing. If we take Final Pain, we could upgrade it, and then we play Final Pain twice, because we play. Like, we want to get powers. So playing Final Pain twice means we get 8 block every time we exhaust. 8 block every time we exhaust. So then we can find a way to exhaust and gain block, which, at the moment, we don't have anything that exhausts. For the most part, more, more, more fit, fitted. There's some attack patterns that you can't um, determine as, like, un, as RNG. But yeah, you know... You can kind of determine within a realm of probability of what, what they're going to do. The fact that I have like omniscience pretty often, I like the. F oh, I can do acrobatics. Acrobatics just finds omniscience, right? Follow up is pretty decent here, though, because I, if I can kill one of them, I don't, I don't mind. Oh, we found omniscience, like I said. So let's do chill first. And let's do omniscience on the sunder, right? What? Why did I choose one target? That's awkward. What? That's really bad. We could probably lose here now. That's really bad. I guess I can do omniscience on Doom and Gloom now. I'm not sure why I chose one target. Engine burner is perfect right now. Oh my god, blur. We found blur. Holy shit. I should probably upgrade the... Uh, I gotta upgrade the next submission. So let's look at the shop real quick. 
Okay, I, I can take a data disc. Why not? Master strategy is fantastic. I can take a data disc. Data disc just helps me. I can take an abacus as well. Is there anything to remove? What's up, Saucy? Not much, man. I'm chilling. Yeah, this is GG. Uh, game's over, though. I, I don't actually need dual, dual cast anymore. I think dual cast is a pretty bad draw. I can take an abacus. But let's save money for the next shot. Lich, oh my god, it's beyond GG. Oh my god. Beyond GG. That was a waste of instance burner, unfortunately. Um, I might take some damage here. Is Funeral Pain better? I'm probably gonna take damage here, right? Um, we do have... I do... I have Exhumed for Bandage Up, though. I do have Exhumed for Bandage Up. I'm probably taking damage here, though. Like, straight up. But I can heal this damage, no problem. And then we have, like, a rest if we need to. I mean, we're never in danger. I also took Energy next turn. I think Funeral Pain... Pretty decent to play twice. We're taking damage here. Oh, again, we have exhumed stuff. Uh, we're about to go completely ham here. We're about to go disgustingly ham here. I don't even want to do Sunder just yet because Sunder's about to win. Like, I have so much damage that Sunder's about to destroy him. And I want to get Banish up first. You know what I'm saying? So I'm curious in the order, does it... No, because I want to play Bandage Up, right? I'm curious in the order here. Uh, it, this, is, this is degenerate, guys. This is absolutely degenerate. This is absolutely degenerate. I want to kind of make Bandage Up play multiple times but maybe that's just good enough should I use the potion that was my bad we'll get heal up here Look how much card draw we have turn one. Oh god. I thought we had card draw. I lied. I lied. So we do get some card draw. But we can't actually play omniscience, which is a problem. That's on me. Shrek tell me, yeah. Shrek tell me is a miss. Uh, I can probably take damage here, which is a little bit annoying. In order to avoid that, I'll play this. How much damage do you think we're taking here? We should assume we're taking a decent amount of damage. And I didn't get to put Final Pain, but... Okay. There was a chance we take a lot of damage, though. So I don't hate that. I should probably let Incense Burner stack up again, right? Let's let Incense Burner stack up a little bit. He's not attacking again, right? I 
it's, it's ideally making this runner as good as possible always, right? Ah, uh, but let's just end the fight. Oh, we can do exhum again for bandage up, which is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Are we happy with the fact that we might take some damage here, or just... I guess we just end the fight. That's fine. Oh, double energy is fantastic. Alright. Ah, the deck's done. Ooh. Alright, let's look for... Look at this. Look at this. What a way to find... Um... Like, look at my cards I'm digging through. Look at that. Look at, look at that turn one. I'm looking for omniscience. We found omniscience. I gotta upgrade that omniscience ASAP. Remind me, I gotta upgrade that initials ASAP. Mm. This is awkward because if I do, if worship wasn't here, I could. Ah, uh, it's okay. Okay, not the best turn, but this is an amazing turn, so I can't even complain. I can, I can legit kill this man if I desired. This is ridiculous. I love it. This deck has everything. I just love it. You've never seen him killed? Oh, well, you're, you're in for a treat, buddy. Unfortunately, I actually... Battle him. Alright, let's upgrade this next omniscience. And the deck... So, let's upgrade omniscience, upgrade final pain. The deck is so strong, I could probably take on another Act 5, 6, and 7. That's how I feel about this deck. That's how I feel about this deck right now. Oh my god. I can kill him with multicast right now, potentially. There's multicast. Turn one for Echo Farms, yep. Decent damage. Calibers would be good here. I kind of like Fear No Evil because it gives me calm stance, but at this point it's completely unnecessary. I'm just telling you that the, the Sunder is able to be doubled. And we also got Instant Sprinter perfectly stacked for Time Eater. I mean, this is just going beautifully. Yeah, this is, this is brutal. 
This is just brutal. Oh, look, we got a mission turn one. I shouldn't have drawn anything, that was my bad. I should probably play cards so that. Hmm. I, I might. I probably I'd play so many cards a turn that it does err on the side of uh, problematic because of the nature of uh, like. Look at that! I couldn't play funeral pain twice. Hmm. But that's okay. Probably want to get Philippine twice, right? I kind of want to not multicast lightning. This is a lot of energy that I don't want to waste. I don't want to multicast lightning here. But I don't think I have a choice. Yeah, exactly. Ambitions did not draw twice. I mean, it's just I should get into spinner on five or four for the next fight because that's the only thing I really care about at this point. Try to play a couple cards that um hmm. I'll play three cards next turn. Let's try to go for the kill now. Oh but we're weakened. I don't want to go for the kill when I'm weakened. Although I do have exhum um omniscience. The run's going disgustingly well. I do have Exhum Initiance though. Yeah, but I'm weakened. I have Worship and then Exhum uh, Sunder. Whatever. <laughs> Unfortunately, I waste the instant sprinter. We don't need that, right? Do we need instant sprinter or should we stack it back up again? We don't need instant sprinter. Is it? Uh, the air's on here. So, okay, okay. I'll, I'll fix it. I may not even need blur here. Remember, all we want to do is find impatience, right? I mean, omniscience, I mean. Hmm. We didn't find omniscience. And our, uh, and our uh, instrument is not really stacked where it wants to be. I find omniscience. The, 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 you know, the quicker I find omniscience, the happier we are. Hmm. Okay. Get double worship and then unceasing top shenanigans. 
Let's, let's try to um need the instant four if possible. And let's just weaken them. Ah, uh, is it weaken any good? Weaken should be good. But the weaken only applies, unfortunately, once. We could do a lot better. We can double bandage up if we need it. Might as well do double bandage up, right? Now we can start popping off. Very nice. Full hand. I'm looking for Sunder. No senders there. And no sender is there, so This one I could do multicast shenanigans with darkness. The thing is, we want to end the fight on. Um, on what's it called? On four instant sprinter, right? So let's get the instant sprinter at four and then make my life really easy. I've got to do armaments first. Whoopsies. He's 22 weaken, by the way. It's kind of insane. Imagine not upgrading that first. Okay, so we have 100,000 block. Who needs barricade with this deck? We're about to get instant burner soon. Should probably stop playing cards because it doesn't really matter. Just messing around at this point. I also got rid of all my attacks, which was really bad. I needed that next turn. We have multicast. Oh, we got rid of everything we needed next turn, actually. Uh, the best thing we can do is butter him up, actually. Now we kill this turn. I sure will you find a way to kill, right? Yes. Also could have done uh, another bandage up to be full life. Whoopsies. That would have been decent. Dare say would have been slightly decent. Okay. So what's a good upgrade here? Um... I guess the good upgrade is like wave of the hands. Or no, master strategy. We just wanna we just wanna dig. We wanna just dig for a mission cycle form, right? Wave of the hand is pretty decent. But once I play wave of the hand, they're probably getting weakened for the rest of the game anyways, right? Yeah, I think we just wanna dig. And this with Exhum, that makes that's an extra two card draw with Exhum. Oh, two boxes Oh my god, seek. We got seek. Everybody go home. Now, but the thing about Master is that I can also exhum it as well. I mean, I don't know. I guess Acro is decent as well. 
All right, I gotta use the bathroom real quick. Take a little break to uh, a little tiny break to use the bathroom, and then we're about to smash the spire open. Be right back. Let's smash the spider here. I see. I want to find omniscience because omniscience turn one is really good. But I guess I go from could do. Omniscience is bad because. Hmm. Now we do have Ben. Oh, so we know this is perfect because yeah, we have this. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have lethal with worship and sunder, but the problem is... Um, well, the problem is I want to... Um, I want to get instance bound 4 again, so... Slight issue. some card draw. And let's just kind of uh Sure, setting enough to kill, I suppose. For let's set up to kill for um, worship thunder and against because instant on three is still fine, right? I could just kill this on the next turn though. I could keep worshiping the deck. And I could exhume technically. We'll kill next turn because this is on force probably a little bit safer. Look, now Blur is no longer exhausted. Oh wait. That's kinda weird. You saw that? So I brought Blur back with Exhume, but since Blur doesn't naturally exhaust, but since I brought it back with Exhume, it exhausted this time. That's kind of strange. Oh no, I gotta stall again because Because I don't have lethal here. Isn't that kinda crazy though that you because you exhume blur it's still considered exhaust, which is weird. I could I couldn't hologram it. Now I gotta stall again though. That's the most annoying part, I suppose. I should make him, so now that the dark's in the picture, um, he should be dead for a long time now. It's cool. Cool beans. He likes the bug? That's weird, right? Isn't that kind of weird how that worked? I gotta stall for a lot of turns. Do I have enough block to stall for this many turns? What do you think, guys? Do we have the block to stall for this many turns? Yeah, the, the game's not used to, like, dealing with, uh, that kind of... 
that kind of behavior, I guess. The game, like, it treats it like, oh, you exhumed a card, and that card is exhaustible. And that's that. Got okay, whetstone. That's just okay. Alright, boys. Good luck. There's a lot of interesting logic in this game, actually. I don't need Sunder necessarily. I think I, I just want to look for missions. I might even like get rid of Ekaform, but that's fine. Oh shit! This is actually one of those. Oh wow! Jeez! Whoa! Oh wow! We have omniscience, so we can do omniscience. Uh, female pain echo form. Probably the GG, right? Wait, can I just also do? Exhume omniscience again. I could technically, but I could. What would be a good thing to? to do twice right now. What's a good thing to do twice? What do you guys think? Early blur? Not necessarily. I want to keep blur around, actually. I want to keep blur around. No, I want to keep blur around because we have Interspinner next turn. See what these are. Is, it, is Chrysalis gonna make me make it worse or better for me? This gives me energy next turn, which is nice. Um, so I can have a really big turn next turn. Uh, is Chrysalis gonna be good or bad? Uh, what skills are we looking at here? Probably just bad. Or full life. I, I want to do all the potions because I can be full life, and it's kind of a nice aesthetic to be full life. It's like, oh my god, it's a perfect fight. I mean, technically it wasn't, but I like Blur a lot here. I could have Doom Glim, but nah. Wait, look how much focus we actually have. This is this is decent. Thunder is good for damage. That much I can say. We have three Blurs now. We have Calipers if that falls off. more blurs so we have like full damage here plus another blur so we got full damage and full block probably want to do um we'll see here i mean i'm not thinking as hard as i could but i don't think i need to think as hard as i could Get like void out of the deck, I suppose. I'm also weakening for the rest of the fight. It's not even necessary. Alright, he's weakening for the rest of the fight. Kind of core cool, it. Right? Also, I want to kind of draw out cards, so I'm going to do this because I want to draw out void if I can. Right, so he's weakening for the rest of the fight. I guess I could have a master strategy to draw out void, but I can also just wait. Do block or I can do darkness. Let's get darkness. Ah, but the, the frost is pretty decent. But I, I'm not gonna need the frost, right? I have so much block as it is. I'm not gonna need the frost. I think darkness is probably more impactful because we can do damage multicast. Rampage is gonna be decent offense here, so I, I like it. I'm out of blur, so I should be careful here. Should be careful. 
potentially. Sandra just is overkill damage. Absolutely overkill. Maybe we like overkill. Maybe I like overkill. Instance runner's back, so just in case you guys were scared, don't be. Instance runner's back, back at it again. In GG. Now that was the ultimate run. I was talking crap on defects saying, man, Prismatic Shard is not working. Okay, that's how you make it work. That is gas. Okay, the score is like 3,500. Maybe 3,400. Oh my god, it's only 3,000. Doesn't matter. The quality of the deck was fantastic. Really cool run. Absolutely insane RNG that we got. Uh, omniscient, omniscient, Echo, Echo, Seek, Exhum, Gambling Chip. That was just an amazing combo.